so in today video we are going to design the old oil lipstick so first of all we have to discuss the drawings so you must understand the drawing so as you know this is the isometric feature so if we see it from this side this is our front view here we have the top view at this point in the middle he uh, in the drawing we took a section view and it's showing the section here and here we took a, a detail view it is showing the details in this view so let's try to understand the dimensions so first of all we are going to use the revolve feature this will be the our base feature so we are going to draw a sketch like that and give the dimension the thickness is given from the center here it will be the center we will define the uh, diameter and we have the overall length of this uh, this feature we will uh, uh, draw this feature use the revolve feature and then we will make uh, the helix and draw these threads we will add uh, this this feature at the end so let's go to the solidworks and draw it so all the dimensions are given here you just have to read the drawings and i will also explain the drawing during the draw so first of all make sure the units units are in inches go to sketch now open the sketch on the front plane so as i told you previously first we have to draw a center line this will be the reference line and then we have to draw a simple sketch like that so use the line tools and draw a sketch like that so the relations are uh, also showing here these green things these are the relation or the constraints so now add the dimension so as we know we have the total diameter is given as 0 0.450 sorry and thickness Point zero three five. This thickness is also point zero three five. Over a length it is given as point two five zero. So you can see we we fully define it. So for this this point must have a relation with this point to make the position constraint positional constraint. Okay exit the sketch and just simply use the extrude tool make sure the sketch is selected okay so this is our first feature we achieve it we can also add the we can add the fillet here go to fillet add a fillet here the radius of the fillet is 0 0.025 okay now we have to add the threads and for the threads first we have to add a plane an offset plane select this face and the direction of the plane must be in the inside of the design so flip the direction and for this uh, offset distance basically we want to make the threads um, this 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 location we must have to make so the thread must start from this position so from the bottom to the to this center it must have the dimension of point zero two five so zero point zero two five like that okay so for the helix for the curves helix and spiral we have to make a uh, circle first then we can make the helix so open the sketch on this plane and use this this uh, edge and convert into these so this edge will be converted into a, a sketch a circle and exit it now use the curves the helix and spiral and we have to put the pitch and revolutions so the pitch and turns are given here so the pitch is 0 0.075 and the total turns are 3 so one two and half air half air 
so we want that in the in the reverse direction so select that way and starting angle must be zero so it is zero clockwise okay check it so now we have the helix so helix are starting from the zero angle so it must be in the right view so just click on this plane one and hide it no we don't need it so we have to open the sketch on the right plane the right plane is coincident with this point this point ending on the right plane so right plane open the sketch now we we define the sketch just draw a small sketch like that and add a fillet here but for this one we have to take the dimension from here this this is the profile of the thread so all the dimensions are given here so what is the radius 0 0.010 it's not defining the radius Zero point zero three eight. We'll try to now we can add it at this fillet, and this must be in the center. So from this point to this point must be in the mid. So make sure this point is in the mid. If it's not, select this line and make it horizontal. Now this point this uh, center of this arc is in the middle so this mid and this center must be facing each other next open the sketch select this this line then press the shift and select this arc so it will add a dimension like that so this dimension is given as 0 0.028 like that and now we wanted this point and select this point press the control and select this arc and we want a relation of pyrus so this way and exit the sketch now add the you now we use it we use this with base boss to add these threads so select the profile select this sketch now select the path so this helix will be our path and click ok now hide this helix and you know here we have an extra material at this at this point so we have to remove it now open the sketch on this face and just draw a shape which must be bigger than this this whole cut this whole material you cannot put the sketch here we have to put a sketch like that and just give a random dimension which must be larger than this and uh, this body this extra body and this dimension are just to fully define it and extrude cut so we extrude mm, cut in the other direction so we must remove this all of this material so we select it through all so now the extra material is removed okay next we have to add this uh, stick shape in this one this whole strip so in the in the right uh, in the right view from this side if we see in the right view we have to add this sketch like that and we have to give the dimensions and uh, relations we just add an open sketch and then we add the thin feature okay so open the sketch on the right plane select the right plane select this sketch so sketch is open on the right plane and we start the line select the line and we start this from the top edge or we can also or we can also uh, change the view type to the hidden lines removed so we must uh, see the interface so we select the sketch from the interface it does not matter if we select uh, uh, start it from the top 
but for the good reference we select it from this inner inner side this edge is showing the inner side we have to select this one yeah line from this side draw like that just a random sketch like that okay now we put the dimensions so from for the overall length from this point to this point it's given as point is given as five here five from this point from the from inside to this point at the end it's given as five okay and we are going to drag these points like that and this this the dimension of this is given as four so that's why i just drag it so it does not become weird no issue like that we just drag these points which are not making the sense okay so now we put the angle the angle between these two is given as 90 and angle between this one and this line it's given as 45 okay and distance between these two is given as 0 0.250 okay so now the sketch is fully defined exit the sketch and we are going to use the extrude and for the extrude at this point we have to use the thin feature <clears throat> okay so the overall overall first direction we will select blind and for the thin feature we have to give 0 0.025 like that so here we have the sketch so the sketch we draw is in the mid basically the sketch the whole feature is like that and the sketch we draw we draw it in the middle so what we want we want the thickness will be added on the more side so for the thickness mid and for the for the direction one we select the mid plane the whole whole expansion of this design uh, this one it's given as 0.15 so let's analyze it so basically the direction line mid plane it's it's adding the material in in that way in that way and the thickness the thickness it's adding the material in that way this thickness this is the thickness so thickness is added in that way and the direction one it's adding in that way adding the material in that way okay now we completed this sketch next we have to make this a uh, round shape a circular shape so we go to the fillet and we select the this this one full round fitted and we select this face and for this one we selected this mid face and for this we selected this face so it will be converted to a round shape now simply add the fitted for this this stuff it has a fillets of uh, 0 0.025 so add fit it here for this not this face for this edge for this edge for this bottom edge this edge and this edge and this inner edge 
ओके ओके द डिजाइन इज कंप्लीट नो वी जस्ट हैव टू ऐड द फिलर्स फॉर दीज थ्रेड्स सो इट्स एडेड इन इन वन डायरेक्शन एंड नो अगेन फिल इट एंड सेलेक्ट दिस इनर साइड Okay, we can add it if it is on the other side. So that's okay. So now the design is complete. Thank you so much for watching the video.